I'm here to introduce the Alfred Packard Memorial String Band. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. What an evening this has been. Test. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy and Dave. Oh. Yes. I'm feeling it. Yeah. Number four. Number four. Number four. Tick, tick, tick. One, two, number four. Hello? Guitar's there. Number four. Check, check seven. Seven's on. Check, check. Check, check, check. Ten. Catch. Number ten. Check on ten. Checking, checking one, two. This is this one's this one's kind of low, also in the monitor. It's on. Here we go. Check, check one, test. Test one, two, one, two. Apologizing every day until I'm dead Whoever said love me's not having to say that You're sorry was utterly, completely, and totally, hopelessly wrong <laughs> Apologizing every day until I'm dead Whoever said love me's not having to say that You're sorry was utterly, completely, and totally, hopelessly wrong Tell me which direction this affection's heading so I know Help me understand your underhanded plot to try to make me go. I will suffer here in silence cause she's better off alone and I wouldn't bother her with hanging up with calling on the phone. If it's easier to have love been lost than not to love at all, then I think that I get lost in love with grandma at the mall. Give me a reason why you're teasing me or give back my hope. Take me seriously so I won't become a missing group. Those simplified ideas locked inside your bitter mind Find a way to tell the truth without just lying to be kind Lose the pitiful expression pasted on your pouty face Kind of like a way I lost myself in love without a trace If I walked a hundred miles in your tiny little Birkenstocks I wouldn't have the energy to talk about it all If it's easier to argue when we aren't speaking to each other easier to make up if we never kiss at all. Give me a reason why you're teasing me or give back my hope. Take me seriously so I won't become a misanthrope. Sorry was utterly, completely, and totally, hopelessly wrong. Apologizing every day until I'm dead. Whoever said love me's not having to say that. Your sorry was utterly, completely, and totally, hopelessly. Utterly, completely, and totally, hopelessly. Utterly, completely, and totally, hopelessly, utterly, completely, and totally, hopelessly wrong. Alfred Packer in the 1870s, 1873 or so. 
He was hired by five guys who wanted to get up into the gold fields before anybody else did that year. Well, they left too soon and they got snowed in. And the, the way Alfred tells the story, one of the other guys went crazy and started killing everybody. And then Alfred killed him in self-defense. So Alfred always maintained that he wasn't a murderer, but he freely admitted that when he got awful hungry up there in the cold, he ate those guys. Well, a man who eats vegetables is a vegetarian, so I guess that makes Alfred a humanitarian. <laughs> well, they, they caught him, they took him to court, they found him guilty, and the judge's exact words when he sentenced him were, Alfred Packer, you voracious man-eater, there were only seven Democrats in Hinsdale County, and you done at five of them. <laughs> but, <clears throat> what oh. we discovered, and this happened last year, in 2018, more science and research, they went out and they said, you know what? Alfred actually was telling the truth all along. He was innocent. So these 40 years that the Alfred Packer Memorial String Band has been playing, we've been under this guilt cloud. Guilt cloud. <laughs> and all of a sudden in 2018, they say Alfred was actually innocent. And uh, so we said, well, we better rewrite the script. And we uh, wrote this new song. And this is sort of a revenge of Alfred Packer called Out of My Grave and Gone. And if I could get a little more vocal on number four in the monitor, possibly, that would help me a little bit. Check, check, one, two. One, two, three, four. Check, check, check. Right there, right there. Yeah, thank you. It's called Out of My Grave and Gone. Ready? One, two, three. Out of my Talking about me, you're spitting out my name. The truth is hard to swallow now. You say I'm not to blame. You're too late, late. I'm out of my grave and gone. Well, I told you I was innocent, and I was way, way back then. Now you tell me no hard feelings, Alfred. You are not in sin. You're too late, late. I'm out of my grave and gone. Well, my name is Alfred Packer. A L F E R D. 100 years out of my grave. Gross iniquity. You judge me guilty, then you buried me. I'm gonna haunt, haunt, haunt you like a Z O M B I E. Because I'm innocent of everything you ever blamed on me. Yo, too late, late. I'm out of my grave and gone. Get gone, no. Well, your science and your microscope served you all so well. Finally prove my innocence and the guilt of Shannon Bell. Till you're too late, late, I'm out of my grave and gone. Well, I've got no need for science for my body, I don't care. All this left are dry bones and a gravestone spelled in there. You're too late, late, I'm out of my grave and gone. Well, my name is Alfred Packer, A-L-F-E-R-D, 100 years out of my grave, gross iniquity, judge me guilty, then you buried me, I'm gonna haunt, haunt, haunt you like a Z-O-M-B-I-E, because I'm innocent of everything you ever blamed on me, you better write me, I'm out of my grave and gone, get gone. I've had my taste of freedom, I will save her all this fame. I'm gonna chew out everybody who misspells my name. You better run, run, I'm out of my grave and gone. If you hear thunder in the mountains or a groan beneath your bed, that's just my empty stomach, a revenge to be fed. You better run, run, I'm out of my grave and gone. Well, my name is Alfred Packer, A-L-F-E-R-D. 100 years out of my grave, gross iniquity. Judge me guilty, then you buried me. I'm gonna haunt, haunt, haunt you like a C O M B I E. Because I'm innocent of everything you ever blamed on me. You better run, run, I'm out of my grave and gone. Yeah, you're too late, late, I'm out of my grave and gone. You better run, run, I'm out of my grave and gone. song answers the musical question, no, no, no. superconductivity? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
That's true. It does. That was. Okay, so um, about 20 years ago, I read an article in Scientific American, was kind of impressed that I actually understood it, and I thought, you know, there needs to be a song, and gradually, as I, you know, would work in my shop, I would sort of think of things, and, and uh, so I wanted to come up with a song about superconductivity that was right on the physics, and um, so I vetted it with a friend of mine who's in the physics department at, at K-State, and he said, well, uh, change fermions to bosons and we're good to go. And, and so here it is. And we like to count it off. 3.14 Superconductivity requires an explanation. Electrons form in Cooper pairs to reach their destination. Through a Yip cone non-resisting crystal conformation. With George Bednors and Carl Mueller scored big innovation. Um diddle little 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 um diddle little little um diddle little 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 um diddle These Cooper pairs or bosons will encounter no resistance as they hula.